I can stop looking like people's aunties or a librarian. To be fair, both looks I pull off pretty well. I don't know why. But, you know? <laughs> Auntie Pokey. That sounds really cute, to be honest. Disrespectful, you look like my father. Why? Because I'm about to beat your ass? Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. The joke went in my brain and it came out of my mouth. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very, I would like to apologize publicly right now. <laughs> but Beyonce had one of the best. Anyways, let's watch this. <laughs> Aww. Aww. This is where it all started in a tiny shed in my parents' backyard. Was I the only one that didn't know this? I never planned on becoming a streamer. I just... Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy for him, and I can't wait. I, can't, I wanna watch him OGs it all the way to the bank. All the way to the bank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Honestly, I'm... <laughs> I know it's like, what's your opinion on this? And then that. I'm almost always happy to see someone get a platform deal because to me, that's just, oh my God, a big corporation giving lots of money to someone I know. Mah, 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 mah. Let's suck them dry. <laughs> you know, like I'm just happy to see people make money. That's it. Anyways, I wanted on. to play some games and make some friends. And Bruh. well, game. you know what I mean? Like of money. Not of anything else. She said what? Like, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Legally, contractually. <laughs> Suck them of all their money, yes. Started off playing League. <laughs> then Minecraft. Valorant. I like the color thing they did Among here. Us. Except, I think they did. Among Us, Valorant. Except they did red twice. Among Us. Like just do purple for Valorant or something. GTA. You know you have 24 hours. You know you have 24 hours. Mister Lang's little sound bit. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. <laughs> Give him the Oscar. Give him the Oscar. <laughs> and some really good friends. And. I met all of you guys. Aww. Th what a pretty shot. The cinematography is great. Psych. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Uh, one sec. Psych, are you ready to make millions of dollars? Hell yeah! <laughs> it's like, oh, she has this, like, concerned face. You guys gonna be great. You guys are gonna be great, okay? Let's fucking yeah. go! Uh, yeah! <laughs> I understand that's like for the video. <laughs> it's just kinda funny. <laughs> you could be great! Let's fucking go! I'm gonna do what I've always done, just in a new place. <laughs> okay, not to be a shrimp. But I always thought it was so cute when Saikuno does this little—I don't know what to call it. It's done, just in a new place. But this—it's like his little, his little laugh. Oh, the little exhale through the nose. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> no, not the smirk. It's the exhale through the nose. You gotta listen for it. It's like some ASMR shit. Listen. That shit. And then his eyes squint a little. It's so cute. League. I love all the really screaming good. throughout the clips. Uh, you guys. Also, Ray needs to give me some of her hair. <laughs> Girl, make some extensions or something. <laughs> okay. As for my thoughts regarding... Regarding the move. I think it's fine. 
Um, I think I said most of, most of my thoughts earlier. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I missed. Like, he's going to... I think his stream is going to be fine on YouTube or Twitch. But I wonder whether his overall influence will go down a bit. Obviously, his money and his viewership will probably be fine. But I think there will be some people who mainly exclusively watch Twitch that won't that won't keep following him, really, if that makes sense. Or like they won't be as aware of him or his content <clears throat> because there's no like touch of Twitch. I think the only exception is if he if he plays with people on Twitch a lot. I've had people, um, friends of mine, that were considering whether to resign with Twitch or go to YouTube and blah, blah, blah. And one of the things they consider is like, <laughs> they want the people that they play with to still be on Twitch so that they can still tap into that market sometimes. Does that make sense? Because if you only stream on YouTube, <clears throat> you lose your touch to the Twitch community and you have to go really out of your way to do it. Whereas I can stream on Twitch and even if I'm not playing with other people all day, every day, our, like, our viewership will still <clears throat> overlap. Sorry, I need water. I've been talking for four hours. I need to shut up. <laughs> Also, this is not about numbers. You have to understand there's numbers on every platform. There's Instagram live viewership. There's TikTok live viewership, YouTube, Twitch. But a real content creator five head <laughs> wants to take advantage of as many platforms and as wide of an audience as possible. And, you know, when you leave Twitch, you're leaving one group, per se. Post more TikToks. Bish, I'm lazy. Bish, I'm lazy. <laughs> Time to play with people streaming on TikTok. Hee <laughs> hee. I mean, yeah, you could. How's your neck pain? I don't have tension headaches anymore, but I still have a lot of soreness. Robot days cheers. Which I'm not 100% sure how to get rid of. You does music ask her to react to your creations. Oh, true. That's true. Could the security outweigh the smaller exposure of platforms? I think in Saikuno's case, yeah. He's being offered so much money that he otherwise would not make because Twitch isn't going to offer him that same amount. So for him in particular, of course, this is a great move. Did that make sense? Like money-wise? Yeah. Saikuno almost exclusively plays multiplayer games and plays mostly with Twitch people anyways, though, right? True. That is true. It's kind of like different strokes for different folks. Like for me personally, because you guys know, like I love to have friends in the gaming space, but when too much, I don't know. I also think like I just grew up feeling a little bit like a, a be an independent bad B. <laughs> Which is not better or worse than anything else. But I think if I moved to YouTube, I would feel such a pressure to play with other people. And I love that that can be a part of what I do. But as you guys can see, I also really like just sitting here and talking for hours on end. Does that make sense? But... 
I, I for sure think, and I think Lud would tell you the same thing. When you move to YouTube, you have a pressure to play or do things with people in the Twitch community. Otherwise, you can't be relevant to the Twitch community and a lot of gaming if you're not tapping into that market constantly. <laughs> um, did you watch that video? I actually didn't. I think I've heard certain things about it. I don't know. You think that YouTube can't have a just chatting experience? I think these are such hard things for me to explain. I'm so sorry. I think the only way that I can explain this is with a paint document. So, like literally, this is the only way. The only freaking way. So, let's say, I'm gonna color coordinate this too. Let's say this is my followers on Twitch. Okay. And let's say this is my followers on YouTube. And this overlap is the people that would watch me no matter what platform I'm on, like they would go out of their way for that, right? So, if I stream on YouTube, I go live, hello, and I start yelling, wee, hello, blah, 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 blah. Let me give myself some hair. <laughs> These are the people that will listen. Or, like, let's say this is the market that I'm tapping into. And when I go live on Twitch... screaming again these are the people that I'm talking to so some of you guys are the same people but I would be screaming not screaming I would be streaming to two different audiences regardless of the viewership if that kind of makes sense but what I like about being a twitch streamer is that I can stream to these people and I can still make videos to these people okay so this this is being a twitch streamer but when you are a twitch sorry twitch when you're a youtube streamer the only way that you can tap into this market is by playing with people on twitch Does that make sense? You cannot make Twitch videos and then post them on YouTube. <laughs> and I guess I personally don't love having to do something that relies on others. But for some people, it's a lot easier. Like that's kind of what, um, like some people are known for doing a lot of multiplayer games. And that's totally fine. And I still like to do that a lot. But I like the added flexibility of when you're a Twitch streamer, you can still post to YouTube and you can still stream on Twitch and do both. It just feels, yeah, like more flexibility overall. Why not multi-stream once that's allowed with the coming changes? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Big nose five I personally think dollars. that's a future. Was your new Twitch contract better than the old one? <laughs> you trying to get me to slip up on some contract details? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You thought you thought you could get me like that? <laughs> Not even. <clears throat> Not even my closest streamer friends, I don't think they know what my Twitch contracts are worth. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I'm happy and doing what makes me happy and other people are doing the same thing. It's 
Yeah. The only people that I've told my Twitch contract numbers to, Herman tipped two obviously my agent and my manager that so know. That I got a new job my parents. As a game developer and now I can support and sub the best channel on Twitchily. I really think that's it. Those are the only people that know. Actually, maybe one other person. If you multi-stream, will you have YouTube chat on stream like you have us up right now? I think I would have a chat that brings you all together so I can answer everybody at once. But that's a long ways away, so who knows what happens in the future. I mean, to be honest, there are extreme case possibilities where Twitch dies or YouTube streaming dies and then you don't really want to stream on either. Or like you won't want to stream on one very clearly over the other. But right now, I completely disagree with this take. I don't think multi-streaming would kill Twitch at all. At all. At all, at all. Don't you feel like sharing with close friends or others can help with financial equality? I will always tell people when I think they're not getting a good enough deal. And I have done that and they have gotten way, way, way more. I very much advocate for that kind of a thing. Um, it's also just like details. It's like a very personal thing. Like your specific contract amount. You know? That's a little tough. But yeah, I do tell people, you deserve more. And obviously that's based off of my own experience and also what I know from other people. Oh my God, well, uh, don't we want to watch the Amber Heard trial? Am I gonna, who, what? 